Good morning, bros. Today is the the day I've been waiting for for a very long time. We are going to be doing the Fino Dino pulls on Miley. So the supercharger is fully installed at this point. I could leave right now and drive with the car, but it, we're on the stock tune that comes with the kit. So what I'm saying is, the kit's working, everything's installed, but I'm gonna have Bill from Delicious Tuning, who I trust more than anyone with my car. They have done the flexor kit on my car, they've done the tune on the car, they've done every tuning with the car, has been done by them, so he's gonna come by, tune the car for me. He knows how to squeeze out a lot more horsepower out than the stock tune. So we decided to keep the car here an extra day, do some custom tunes on it, dial it in to make it that much faster, and then I get to drive it for the first time. So that's what we're doing today. I, I have to show you this because it's just sitting here, and I, I love it. This is the uh, this is Dieter's car. He's like the owner of HG. It's just they're sitting there having an idle for reasons that I just I don't know tuner, tuner reasons. Ah, but that's sitting there. The shop is full of amazing cars today. Um, we're gonna jump into this. Enough of me talking, and let's start doing some custom dyno pulls. And why do I keep saying custom dyno pulls? Let's let's start the, let's start doing some dynos. Talk some numbers. I'll explain all that type of stuff to you. Let's get it. But of course, before we start, the lunch truck is right on time. I'm gonna miss that guy. I am 100% gonna miss seeing that guy come up every time saying two dollar makes you hotter more power it's so good okay so we're gonna do a baseline dyno pull right now this is on the stock tune i have bill from delicious tuning here with me he's the one doing that actual tuning and the, all the little nifty things to bump up the power i'm trying to contain my excitement i know those fans are loud so this is gonna be the first pull of the day with the supercharger we can get a baseline of where we're at and then we're gonna do bill's tweaks Add a couple of his little thing secrets that is gonna bump up the power. This is on 91, non 85. The reason for that, but I haven't explained it yet, is when we go 85 in this car, it's just gonna shoot the horsepower up way too high. And when you get around 350, the clutch completely slips. So we can't even do 85 until I get a new clutch, which is another story for another time coming soon. This is all on 91. That's why we're doing 91. Can't do 93 because we don't have it here in California. But a huge shout out to Bill from Bill's for Tuning. And Bill's personally took time out of his day to come here. And tune Miley. So let's do it. Let's fucking go. I'm so excited. Oh my god. That was fucking loud. So all the numbers I will be showing are all Dino Jet numbers. This is on a Dino Dynamics Dino, but we're converting them to Dino Jet just because they're a lot more popular and people will understand that. So first pull, 276 horsepower to the wheel, Dino Jet numbers, and that is the stock tune that's without Bill touching it. That's what we're pulling now. I think we gotta raise that up a little bit. Now I bet you guys are wondering what the fuck happened or what the hell am I talking about? Well, the last dyno clip you saw, the cams in the motor decided to stop working. Before I go any farther, this has nothing to do with delicious tuning, this has nothing to do with Edelbrock's kit, this has nothing to do with HG Motorsports installing the kit. It is nobody's fault but Miley's. Hear me out. It has been not really common, but it has not been uncommon to see with the very, very early first models of the 86. I mean, this car was 
This BRZ, this 2013 BRZ, was made in the first two months of production. It is not the most uncommon thing when specifically boosting this car, whether it's supercharger or turbocharger, just boosting it in general, that along the process, the ECU freaks out and the cam stop working. So it took us a while to figure this out. So on the second boosted dyno pull we did, we made not even half the power of what the car should have been making. We didn't know what it was. It took us a while to figure it out. We didn't know what was going on. We, we didn't know. We thought maybe we, there was something wrong with the relay. We thought maybe the ECU shit itself. We even considered maybe the motor, the cam blew, or we didn't, we didn't know. We, we didn't know, but the car still ran. So what technically happened is variable valve timing stopped working because the cams weren't functioning. The motor can still run, but it, it doesn't run well and it does not run very happy. We had Delis all of Delicious' team sitting and trying to figure it out and they contacted a bunch of different shops in the area and that's when we came across the dreaded limp mode of the cams which is common kind of common when boosting very early model brz's frs's gt86's once we figured that out we, we knew we had to get the car finished for the reveal on saturday which you guys will see but the motor didn't blow, nothing blew up, but it was very scary. You'll see in the next video, we do get around the issue, but Miley scared the fucking shit out of me. And I thought, I thought we were in deep water. But I want to tell you guys this because when boosting cars that aren't boosted or when doing major modifications, hiccups happen. It's very rare that everything happens perfectly smooth. So that being said, I wanted to be transparent with you guys so you guys can be, like I said, I want to take you along with this process. So when we were doing this, the ECU pretty much freaked out when all the power came on the car and it kind of like throws itself into limp mode. As to why we why it does that, it's a very, no one knows. It, it's, it's, it's an uncommon thing, but typically when this happens, guys like to upgrade the cams um, just, for, just, just for future reliability. So is that something I'm going to be looking into? Yes. Is the motor perfectly fine? Yes. Is there anything I need to technically worry about? No. Is the car working? Well, you guys will see that in future videos, although it is behind me. I don't want to spoil too much. I just want to let you guys know, on our second dyno pull, the cams went into limp mode, and we stopped tuning for about a day and a half, and we're just trying to figure the car out. As to what happens next, you guys will wait and find out. <laughs> Very nerve-wracking. At this point, I'm freaking out, and I'm filming this way in the future from when it actually happened, but at this point, I'm freaking out that something majorly wrong just went wrong with the car, and I'm thinking that the car is not gonna make it to the meet and greet, so I'm freaking out, but we'll find out what happens. I will say this, though. If you follow my Instagram, you will know how the car currently is and all that type of stuff, but I digress. Thank you for watching, and as always, peace out and keep moving forward. Motivation is contagious. Hang out with those who inspire you and strive not to be like them, but only a better version of yourself. You will learn that there is a difference between alone and lonely. Life isn't always easy, but that's the beauty. You will learn how to be truly happy, and as much as you don't want to